Welcome to JK Today. I'm Joey. And I'm Caden. And we're just a little over a week away until... Halloween! Woo! So please, uh, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell. Ring it. Oh, boy. Man. Uh, well, this, uh, this week's featured snack. Featured. <sighs> featured snack. Uh, is... Tia Lupita Foods, a uh, hot sauce, grain-free tortilla chips with cactus. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Fun fact I learned by reading the the packaging is that cactus is a very sustainable plant. It doesn't require much water. Yeah, and man. Very nutrient dense. Why there's a bunch of cacti out there in the the deserts, right? Yeah. All right. Smell test. Yeah. Yeah. Smells like chips. Smells like chips. Like chips. Alright. Yeah. Grab a chip. Oh, got some nice uh, little like little char on there. Yeah. Almost. Like uh, they're baked. Huh? Are they baked? Flavorful heat. Right. Um, huh. Crafted with care. Food is love. The cactus chip. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cactus chip. Mm. It's a good chip. That was a very good chip. It's like um, what's it reminding me of? Um, it reminds me of a, sun chips. Yes. Yeah, like a sun chip almost. Mm -hmm. Like those the basil uh, sun chip or like uh. I like the harvest cheddar. Harvest cheddar, yeah, okay. That's a good one. Mmm. Very delicious. That's real good. You guys, go out and get you some uh, Tia Lupita Foods hot sauce and tortilla chips. If I was at a party and I just plated some of those, yeah. I wouldn't know it was a cactus chip. Yeah, it doesn't taste like cactus. I, I would guess. think it was a regular chip. Yeah. Kind of tastes like a sun chip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? It's mm, a good find. Where'd you find them? Found them at Costco. Mm. Although I believe they're getting rid of them because there was only like ten left. Oh. But they're only three bucks. Hey. Two ninety seven. I have to go this weekend. So yeah, go go. I I got a couple extra bags. Go ahead and grab yourself some of that. Um. All right, man. Yeah. What well, it? How was your week? My week, yeah. It was an average week, but yeah, had yeah. little, little news yeah. though. Okay, you got some news for me? Yeah, I, I put in my two week notice. Uh oh. At my current employer. That's it. YouTube's really taking off for us now, baby. Yeah, I wish. I yeah. wish. No, I'll be taking a job at a different company. So. Right on. Yeah. So well, that's exciting, right? Something quality improvement in healthcare. So. Still doing what I like. All right, well, just different location. Hey, man, that's good. That's yeah. good. Changes, changes, good. Yeah. So, how about you? How was your week? Ah, oh. just another <laughs> work week, really. You know, well, uh, except um, I got a got a couple uh got a couple items. Oh, you did? Uh huh. Uh, my buddy, one of my collecting buddies, Judah Matthew. Shout out. Uh. He found, or actually he ordered for me, um, well actually he found as well, because <laughs> uh, I'm a huge uh, Chris Jericho collector. Uh-oh. He found me the uh, the Corazon de Leon Chris Jericho, uh -oh. um, his earlier years in Mexico uh, coming up. Is that where he originated from? Well, he's from Canada. Originally, huh. but uh, yeah, he kind of made his name in, down in Mexico and then uh, all over the world now. Yeah, yeah I found that. and um, That's very cool. And he also got me uh, the No Hold Bard uh, WWE Ultimate Edition figures. Uh, you got your Hulk Hogan and oh. Zeus. Nice. Um, uh, 
That's very cool, brother. Have you ever seen No Holds Barred? I can't say that I have. Well, it's an early 90s uh, movie with, uh-huh. with Hulk Hogan and Zeus. Uh, okay. Uh, t- t- uh, Debo. Debo. You know Debo? Yeah, um, from uh, Friday. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, oh, didn't he pass away? T- yeah, yeah. T- t- Tony, Tiny. Yeah, he was in um, The Green Mile, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, probably most famous for, for Debo, Debo and Friday, but... Yeah. Man. Dang. Yeah, Some nice well, packaging. So, yeah, it's, it's real nice. So No Holds Barred is an early 90s movie, uh, you know, based off of wrestling. And uh, yeah. and he actually had a couple wrestling matches here. Well, what would you look at that? Wow. It's Whoa. a VHS. It's a VHS. That is look at that. awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Man. That is way cool. No Holds Barred. Collector warning. Man, I'm scared to scared to open this right oh facing each other look at that the little standoff a little standoff between hogan and zeus yeah that is pretty sweet man that is way cool all right well i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try taking it out anymore because uh because i'm a moc mint on card collector here and i don't want to Take it out and mess it up, but it's cool how you got the little viewing window in there. Yeah. I like the Oh no! Oh, avalanche. Uh, uh, see, that's why I keep it all. That's why I keep it all in the box. Uh, safe for keep that it way. nice and pristine, you know. Uh, but I also picked up uh, good old Instagram ads. Uh, <laughs> big Simpsons guy over here. Yeah. Got me the uh, Simpsons Igloo uh, little lunch ice, ice box, lunch box, lunch pail. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. Are you going to collect that or are you going to start taking that to work? You know, I got a big one that I take to work. You know, it's all grizzled and beat up. So I probably won't take this one to work, but I'll take it to the beach and stuff, you know, keep my little, my little drinks in there. It's pretty cool, man. It's got that a little hologram. Cool. Uh, Hologram Simpsons TV. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yep, that's all. That's all I have for this week. That's funny that you mentioned mm-hmm. Debo and Friday because um, tomorrow I'll be seeing uh, oh, Ice Cube in concert. That's right, man. Oh. That's pretty cool. So that'll be exciting. You know, not really my normal style but it'll be exciting to see ice cube man ice cube's awesome bone thug is gonna be there yeah. um exhibit hey digital underground right on yeah yeah i might so, be able to hear it from my house yeah you're gonna be close to the <laughs> venue that's but maybe i'll maybe i'll walk down the road and see if i can <laughs> see if i can hear anything yeah that's pretty cool man uh who are you going with uh going with my wife right. and a couple of her friends yeah right on it'll be a good time that's pretty cool um also this uh week we had national pasta day Ooh, i like me some pasta yeah i like me some pasta too some some fettuccine alfredo or something yeah. i like probably one of my favorites is tortellini tortellini that's one of my my recent favorites like kind of on a tortellini kick right now all right uh-huh. i'll have to try me some of that tortellini that's good um uh, wear something gaudy day. I guess I didn't do that today. Yeah. Uh, National Alaska Day. Mm. You ever been to Alaska. Alaska? Never been to Alaska. I'd like to. Yeah. I've heard Alaskan cruises are like. Yeah, I should I, be on everyone's bucket list. Yeah, I want to go see the the Northern Lights or mm-hmm. the, the Aurora. What's it called? Aurora, Aurora Lights. Aurora Borealis, Borealis. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that's pretty cool. Um, but I don't like the cold, so I don't know. I'm not big on cold either, mm. but I've yeah. heard from, I've heard from people that it's worth it. It's worth the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I wonder if it happens during the summer. Uh, we had National Chocolate Cupcake Day, uh, National Mashed Potato Day. Ooh. 
Like with some mashed potatoes. Do you put anything in your mashed potatoes? Um, I mean, I put butter and some cream. Some cream? Salt and pepper? Nice. Well, in the form of either milk or... Uh, okay. okay. Or whipping cream. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, Do you like... Uh, have you ever had um, red potato mashed potatoes? Red potato mashed potatoes? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's a slightly different flavor to Man, the potato. Man, I haven't had a red potato in quite a while. No. It's just, we do it every once in a while just to switch it up. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It's not a big flavor difference, but just enough. I'll try it. I'll try it. Um, National Jameson Day? Jameson? Oh, that's just, no, that's just a name, Jameson. Oh. Uh, not the whiskey? I don't think so. Could be. <laughs> International Day of the Nacho. 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 How's it with the sauce? Oh. You gotta get that bitch with sauce. Everything is better with the sauce. Mm -hmm. sauce. Sauce me up. Sauce me up, daddy. Mm. National Pumpkin Cheesecake Day. Mm. Mm. You like cheesecake? I love me some cheesecake. I don't know. I don't know about pumpkin cheesecake, but yeah, I've had some pumpkin cheesecakes, and I don't know. It's so similar to a pumpkin pie. Do you like pumpkin pie? I like pumpkin pie. I used to not like pumpkin pie, but now it's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, um, National Reptile Awareness Day. Oh, you like reptiles? Uh, nowadays. I guess not so much, but growing up, I had um, I I caught some lizards and I uh, had an iguana and had a couple frogs, but yeah, um, I actually had a couple snakes too. Oh, cool! Some tarantulas, I guess those aren't reptiles, but I am. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Nice. Uh, kind of indifferent about them. I yeah. never had a reptile pet, but well, actually, we currently do. My wife's had a this um, corn snake since she was like thirteen. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's Same cool. as Echo. Huh. And so, we do still have that. Um, what do you feed them? Um, frozen mice. Okay. Little cute little baby ones. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's worked this long. Huh? Well, if it works, <laughs> it works. Uh, um, National Make a Dog's Day. Go hey. make a dog's day, everybody. Yes. If you don't have a dog yourself, go pet a dog. Yeah. Maybe give yes. them a little, a little treat or something. Mm -hmm. Um, smart is cool day. Yeah. Uh, National Boston Cream Pie Day. Mm. I don't even know what Boston cream is. Yeah. Is it just cream from Boston? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. right. Boston Rescue. Okay. <laughs> Uh, National iPod Day. iPod Day. Yeah. It's funny because that's our that like technology is like come and gone. <sighs> like the the phone has replaced that as well. Yeah. Um, I can't find it now, but it, it's like National Nut Day as well, or something, right? What was it? National. Oh yeah. Peanut Nut Day. Nut Day. Yeah. Whatever it was. What's your favorite nut? In honor of that, made some uh, some little roasted cashews. Delicious. A little um, little ghost pepper salt in here. Just, some pepper. Just spicy enough. It's delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little follow up. Follow up from last week. Claudia commented. Thank you, Claudia, for always commenting. Surprise, surprise. We love it. I agree with Kay. I don't like candy corn either. <laughs> I'm glad you share that opinion yeah. because, yeah, candy corn. It's a guilty pleasure. I don't know. Maybe I need to give it another try, but. I mean, it's, it's pretty, like it's, it's like flavorless. Right? It's just like waxy. Waxy, sure. Uh, yeah. Get out of here with that. <laughs> I also grew up in a family that only drank Pepsi. The same here. Um, I hardly ever drink it anymore. 
Um, I have to get my sugar from wine now. <laughs> and nowadays, so. all right, that's fair. Yeah, sacrifice. It's a good spot to get it. Uh, Tay, my dad talked bad about McDonald's too. I didn't have it any until I was older. Not bad. I try not to eat fast food anymore, only on rare occasions. Yeah, same here. Um, my dad also talked about bad about ketchup on French fries, so I would eat my fries plain. Huh. Huh. Interesting. He'd, he'd say ketchup ruins fries. Uh, I use ranch once in a while. Yeah, same here. Uh, very rare for me to eat fries with ketchup. Yeah. You like ketchup? I love ketchup. Or you go ketchup or ranch? I think this was, was a this or that question last week. Yeah. You want ketchup, ketchup. huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's right. Like, I don't mind dipping it in ranch, but I'd rather have what, what about mayonnaise? Have you ever had french no, fries with mayonnaise? Yeah, I can't. It just... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, same. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going with actual shows that have supernatural creatures. Uh, our top five. Uh, five. Tales from the Crypt. Do you remember Tales from the Crypt? Yeah. Um, I really don't remember any episodes episodes specifically i yeah. just remember the intro the guy the coming out of the coffin skeleton yeah. dude the laughing. crypt keeper the crypt keeper yeah that guy <laughs> yeah he always creeped me out he always creeped me out but then he was like kind of funny so yeah. wasn't it on usa late something. night or something yeah like usa at midnight or something yeah yeah i watched the intro then i got too scared and i didn't watch anything <laughs> else um dark shadows reboot in 91 the funny um uh, i've seen the 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 new newer dark shadows yeah. with the what we do in the shadows no um dark shadows with the johnny depp mm. and um that girl from that one movie oh from with, kick ass with the hair yeah with the hair uh, Twilight Zone. Uh, do, 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 do. Like I'm living in the Twilight Zone. Uh, the Monsters. Yep. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, I remember Buffy. Uh, yeah, Buffy was yeah. all the rage. She was. Uh, I agree with you, Jay. Uh -oh. Most families prefer to trick or treat in familiar and safe neighborhoods. I don't get much kids in my neighborhood. It's probably because of the COVID scare. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't decorated my house in the last couple of years. It's just not like it used to be. Yeah, I agree. The house we ended up buying on, it just happens to not have many street lights. Yeah. And so I think that has a lot to do with it too. Mm -hmm. Like, unless you stand out. As a couple houses, like, people aren't going to walk down a dark street. I wonder why there aren't street lights on some streets. Yeah, it's weird. Like, some streets, like, full on, like, every hundred feet. There's mm -hmm. just, and then some streets, it's, like, one, I, one a block. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of gimmick behind it. Um, I have seven family members that are under 10 years old, so mm -hmm. they still dress up. It's fun to see what they choose to dress up as. Yes. K and J, what are your kids dressing up as this year? Oh. Do you know what your kids are dressing up as? I do. I do. Um, I have my youngest, my 10-year-old. He's going to be this, like, clown guy. Oh, that's right. You did from, show me that mask. But, huh? like, a purge outfit. So we're just like clashing Ooh. some things. So kind of a rampant murder yeah. type. Sounds like Halloween to me. Um, and then my other son is going to be, um, I believe his name is Corey uh, from Slipknot. Okay. Um, guy with a long nose. So, yeah. I used to know all their names back me in too. the day. They've, they've changed up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, How about you? What's, uh, what's your boxing game? Well, um, I don't want to reveal that information oh, yet. Okay. Um, 
So he is gonna dress up. All right. And we will, we will, I will put a picture right here. Um, I think it, I next may, it might be next week. It might have to be the week after since Halloween is actually the next day. Oh, that's a good point. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm sure we're, a... I'm sure we're dressing up earlier than it's actual Halloween. So. Big reveal. Yeah, we'll keep it as a surprise. Okay, but you will, you will find out. All right, I'm excited. Uh huh. And um, I think baby costumes are adorable. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, some people do get super creative with their little ones. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Have a good week. That's uh, actually one of the reasons I like um, the Bob's Burger episodes uh, Halloween. Because the kids always dress up in like very creative. Like Tina one year dressed up as a nun with tennis shoes and like a bandana. She was a nun on the run. <laughs> 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 like it's just funny, clever. They have, they have good uh, puns. Or, yeah, like, or, is that a pun? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. Yeah, punny, punny costumes. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good stuff. Yeah, um, Jimmy Kimmel does it every every year. He'll do like mashups. I can't think of a good mm. a good one right now, but you know, um, yeah. yeah. Um, thanks, Claudia. Uh, Appreciate it. Hey, if you guys want to leave a comment, yeah. go on, drop a comment down below. Don't leave Claudia by herself. Yeah. Um, well, you want to do, what do you want to do, this or that, or just, you want to go right on top five? Let's do some, some of this or that. Drop them out. <laughs> All right. Little, uh, this or that. <laughs> this or that. Where are, we, where are we at with this or that? Uh, <laughs> cooking or being cooked for? Cooking. I'll be cooked for. Yeah. I'll let you cook for me. Yeah, I, like, I, love, I enjoy cooking. I like cooking, but, you know, throw, that that's, consists of throwing it on the Traeger for the most part. <laughs> um, a play or a stand-up show? Oh, a stand-up show. Stand-up show? Yeah. Um, Good laugh is always, yeah. Healthy. Agreed. Um, attend a party or host a party? I'll attend. Yeah, I like hosting. I like hosting the party. Yeah, you're a good host. Yeah, I try. But, you know, I don't mind just uh, going to one and just leaving whenever I want. Yeah, I tend to get overwhelmed hosting. No. <laughs> Um, lose sleep or skip a meal? Skip a meal. Yeah, same. <laughs> Hang out with little kids or old folks? <laughs> <laughs> um. Wow. Hmm. It's funny that I have to think about this one. Um, yeah. Yeah, right? Little kids. Yeah. Yeah. Although, I mean... Either way, I guess. Yeah. I'd go either way. Although, I, I enjoy hanging out with my grandma, because... Yeah. Like, she's been alive since the Depression, so yeah. it's like... You get all the... You get all the... Stories, right? Exactly. Um... Let's see... Sweating or shivering? I'd, I'd sweat over shiver. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely rather sweat. Espresso or drip coffee? I think we've done this one before, but um, I mean probably drip coffee because I like to sip on it for a little while, but uh, I do like some espressos. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Either way, you um, drip coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Just 
sip on it all day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I definitely like sipping on my coffee. Um, reality shows or documentaries? Documentaries. I do like a good doc, yeah. but I'll go reality shows. Mm-hmm. It's funny. It's It's been a slow progression, but the older I get, I just throw on a documentary. And yeah. I guess I'm it like, depends. My goodness, I'm it depends what it's about, but yeah. Turning old. <laughs> Um, red wine or white wine? Um, that one's variable. I think it depends. Um, but probably a red. Yeah, I definitely gotta go red. The white white wine is just too sweet for me usually. Yeah, there's a few that I like that aren't very sweet. Yeah, very few. But that's why I went with red. I like a bigger variety. Well, um, man, we've got a lot of repeats on here. (laughs) (laughs) Well, um, plans or surprises? Plans. Yeah, I'll go plans too. Surprises are nice, I guess. But not always. Yeah. Um pizza or Chinese food? Oh pizza. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Me too. Although I do like uh some I do like me some Chinese oh, food. Oh yeah. Some, uh, I love Chinese food. What's that? Panda Express. That's yeah. always good. Or, you know, I rice wish garden. A, I wish we had a bigger variety of Chinese food around here. Yeah. I feel like we have, like, a ton of sushi places. But there's only, like, one or two Chinese food places. Yeah. How many do you need, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it for this or that. Let's get right into this week's Top 5. five. This week's top five. Uh, we're I don't know what we're gonna do next week because we're running out of Halloween themes. Halloween themes. Uh, top five. So if you have one, please comment. But this week's top five. Uh, top five Halloween, Halloween costumes. costumes. Yeah. Um, Thought it was you know a good theme. Got a question asked about our what our kids are gonna be. So. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, my I have been all of my. Okay. My uh, top five costumes. Gotcha. I went a little broader. I went some that I've been and some that I've seen. There are some I've seen that I own eyes that I've that, wanted to get. Yeah. Like, like the ones like where you're you're like you're hol- holding something or walking with something. Like there's mm-hmm. like an or you're riding you're riding an ostrich or something or you're. Uh, Carrying an alien, those ones are really yeah. big. They're, you're being captured by an alien, alien or something yeah. like that. Or have um, you seen Super Troopers? Yes, but there's the where he pretends to be behind the bear in the forest. I don't remember that. Uh, that's a funny one. It's like a like a lumberjack and then a bear in front of him. Okay. Yeah, those those costumes are yeah. always cool. <laughs> I've never had one of those, but one of these days I'll get one. What was your number five costume? My number five, um, I went, this one I picked because it was, for me, the most memorable okay. uh, costume that I've ever been. Because um, there's a big old backstory to, to it. But uh, when I was, I believe I was eight, um, I was a mummy. Okay. Yeah. Mummy? Yeah. What'd you do? Yep. Toilet paper? Bandage? I, gauze. Gauze? Yeah. I had... Um, gotten burnt with boiling water oh, and so i had no. to have gauze already around my head anyway okay and so hey it was just a natural hey let's just be a mummy there you go perfect <laughs> works out yep uh my number five was the first costume i remember doing as a kid uh no i'm not wearing the hat 
Uh, Ninja Turtles. I was Donatello. Oh. Um, I was, yeah, I, I loved it because it came with a, you know, a, a staff. And I had the little turtle's nose that got all super sweaty. And you have to take it off and wipe it out and put it back on. But, um, <laughs> yep, Ninja Turtles. Donatello was my one of my first costumes to memory that I remember. Was that, was Donatello your favorite? Um, I always went back and forth between Donatello and Raphael. <laughs> um, you know. You know, you got the nerd and you got the, the cool guy. So, you know, I was always somewhere right there. Somewhere know. right in the middle. Yeah. So, you know. Nice. I, I'm sure I was probably Raphael as well, but the Donatello one sticks out in my mind. Because it came with like a bright green staff. <laughs> that was cool. Awesome. What's your number four? Number four. This one is another one that I had been. Um, that's probably the most elaborate I've ever gone. But I was Captain Hook one year. Oh, what? And I, I rented a costume from like a costume shop. And so. You, you rented it? Yeah. Wow. And so it was like this whole like elaborate Captain Hook outfit. That's awesome. And then, I was in the um, Christmas parade in with my work in Paso. Nice. At the time. And so, yeah, it was fun. That's cool. I remember being a pirate one year and having a hook. Mm -hmm. I wasn't Captain Hook, though. Yeah. I remember being a vampire one, one year, too. Mm. Uh, that was cool because you had the blood capsules, you know, you put it in your mouth. And... <laughs> but they tasted terrible. Um... My number four was just a few years back. Actually, maybe it was ten years ago now. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I was Jack Skellington. Oh, and my nice. wife was uh, Sally. Sally, yes. Very nice. Yeah, maybe I'll put the picture. Right? Yes, please. I'll, right there, maybe. If I can find it. That'd be cool to see. Yeah. Uh, what's your number yeah. three? Number three. Now, this is one that I I, I saw that okay. I thought they just did a Great job, but Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Like, it, it looked like Beetlejuice. I was like, wow. Like it was just amazing. Yeah. But, yeah. I think I saw that, I don't know, a few years before COVID. Yeah, I've seen some good Beetlejuice costumes. Yeah. Or, like, the or the, the dude with the big old oh, mouth yeah. jaw thing. Yep. Um, that was number three. That was number three. Uh, my number three. Uh, so, was basically me. But oh. I've been pro wrestling for the past 21 years. Oh, yeah. So I've kind of always done like an 80s rock, you mm -hmm. know, rock gimmick. So uh, every other year, whatever, whenever I didn't have another costume i just put on my wrestling gear and be like have my zebra my zebra stripe pants and my my 80s rock you know get up and maybe yeah. had a you know frizz wig or something do yeah yeah that was one of my go-to's that's a good one to fall back on mm -hmm. that's very cool what's your number two my number two is another one that i saw and it was two two friends of mine and they came as Hunter S. Thompson and the lawyer from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Okay. And my friend who came as um, Hunter S. Thompson, he actually shaved his head just in, in the middle here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to look just like Hunter S. Thompson. It was it was great. That was awesome. Yeah. So they like went all out, full nine yards on the part. It was great. Nice. Um, How about you, number two? My number two. Back in, back in my early twenties, you know. Uh oh. Um, I I might have been in a few years in a row, couple every other, um, because it was so easy. <laughs> and you know, being a bachelor, uh, Hugh Hefner. Oh. So easy, right? You just yeah. put on the robe, and, the robe, and then you know, there's always you know. Girls dressing up as, you know, the Playboy bunnies and stuff. So, you know, it, it worked out sometimes. Yeah. You know. Good stuff. Yeah. 
That was fun. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, what's your number one Halloween costume? Number one, I'm going to give it to a couple's Halloween costume that I saw one year, but it was a plug and a socket. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. Those those are funny costumes, kind of like how you mentioned the ones where something's attached, like the dinosaur or whatever. Yep. But, um, yeah. Yeah, those are always fun. I think we we did like an avocado we were like an avocado, and the other one had the avocado oh, seed, seed or something. Yeah. You know, the two halves of an avocado. Yeah. And then a baby avocado. And then, uh, what else did we do? Something else, yeah. Yeah. Um, but my number one. Number one. Uh, we, this, we dressed up as this on uh, the Chris Jericho cruise back in 2019. <laughs> um, and then came back and did it again, but uh, I was Wayne from Wayne's World. Oh, and uh, my wife was Cassandra, mm-hmm. and then our little baby dog uh, was Garth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was really cool, yeah. Um, especially on the cruise ship, right? Uh, like you know, <laughs> we, we, you'd be walking by, you know. You'd be walking by random people on the cruise that, that were there to perform or whatever, just hanging out. And uh, I remember seeing these one wrestlers run up to him. We're not worthy. <laughs> we're not worthy. He's like, oh, no, man. Get up. Get up. No, no. It was pretty cool. Uh, it was the Briscoe brothers that did that, too. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, That's good times right yeah. there. Yeah. That was one of our one of the funnest uh, yeah. Halloweens for Could sure. see how that would be memorable. Yeah. And uh, this year should be pretty memorable, too. Oh. I can't wait to uh, take some pictures and show everybody. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> What's your top five Halloween costumes? Yeah. What is your favorite? Leave Halloween them in the costumes. comments down below. Yeah. Uh, because we're out of time this week. So, until next time. Next week. Next time. I'm Jay. And I'm K. And this is JK Today. See y'all next week.